Mr. Speaker, this Monday, June the 3rd, the landmark arms trade treaty will be open for signature. This treaty will help prevent the sale of conventional weapons to conflict zones and outlaw states such as Syria. Canada voted in favor of the treaty at the UN, despite drawing criticism from other countries for being an obstacle to a robust treaty. But the rumor is that Canada now won't sign or ratify the treaty. So will the government state clearly now that it will sign the arms trade treaty and stand up for those victimized by violence in conflict zones? Great question. The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, Canada already has some of the highest uh, global standards and export uh, for the export and control of munitions. We believe that any treaty regarding the sale of munitions helps move the international community closer to a world with leading standards. That's why we joined 154 countries in voting in favor of the resolution. We've always been very clear, though, on two points. Uh, we don't want to uh, detract from legitimate sports people, legitimate uh, civilian use of uh, firearms. Uh, we don't want uh, to detract from uh, the cultural practices of hunting and fishing uh, in this country, and that's why uh, we'll review the treaty closely and consult with Canadians, as we always do before we act.